just give it to me straight. The truth is, the gamma distribution is incredible. It's a continuous distribution that can model so many different things. Yay! Including cancer incidents, which is related to my personal field of study and interest. <laughs> so today, we're gonna learn how you can draw random samples from a gamma distribution in Python. Oh yeah! Okay, so here in IPython, we're gonna import NumPy as NP, because that's where we're gonna find the gamma distribution where we can draw random samples. And it's as simple as np.random.gamma. And here we have the shape, the scale, and the size as the parameters of this function. So we type in np.random.gamma, and we give it one one, and that will give us a random draw from the gamma distribution with shape one and scale one. Okay, np.random.gamma, let's do a different one, 7.52, boom, different sample with different parameters. Of course, if you want to get multiple draws at the same time, you can just put in an extra parameter. So we get 10 draws from 1.1. One, one. And let's do 5.2 with 5 draws. Okay, next I want to visualize this with you. From matplotlib, import pyplot as plt. And we'll do a histogram of a random gamma draws. We'll do 1-1 one, one with 10,000 different draws. And now we'll do plt.show so we can see this histogram, which is basically the PDF of this distribution. And there it is. And let's do this one more time. Let's change this up. We'll do 7.5 and 0.5. And let's do plt.show, and you can see this one's almost like a skewed normal distribution, which is pretty cool. Like I mentioned in the intro, this can be used to model all kinds of things, including cancer incidents. Now, before we end, I wanna give a quick word about how these parameters are affecting the mean and variance. So if we type np.mean of np.random.gamma of a 2, 2 with 10,000 draws, you'll see that comes out to be 3.988, or approximately four. And if we check the same thing with the variance, np.var for variance, with ddof equals one, that way we're doing the unbiased variance, you'll see we get something very close to eight. Now the reason is, the mean is basically your shape times your scale, or some people call it k and theta, and your variance is gonna be your shape times your scale squared. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos on how to use Python for statistics, check out this playlist right here.